Hello guys, uh, today our topic is about structure of the atmosphere. Okay, so let's start the topic. Uh, so guys here basically before we start the topic, I would like to give you some fundamentals of the atmosphere. So first we'll take example about sun. So if earth is receiving high temperatures, so example at the equator we know very well it receives high temperatures. So this mean better here. At the equator, the air will rise high, means it will very far away from the earth's surface. So it's like this. Okay. So if the I'll take one more example as that as that the earth some part, say example, this part, polar region, is not receiving sunlight much. Clear? So then the air will be very close to the earth's surface. Okay. In general terms, I repeat better here. If a region is receiving the high temperatures, that air gets charged and it rises above. And then the places which receives less temperature, the air will be very close to the earth's surface. Okay. So this fundamental is very essential to understand the structure of the atmosphere. Okay. So basically better atmosphere has divided into the two parts. Number one, it has a homosphere. And number two, it is the heterosphere. Okay. So further, these two has got divided into the five divisions. Okay. So what are these five divisions and how do we remember these five divisions in a simple manner? We will see now. So we have to remember a technique of remembering these layers of atmosphere as TSMTXO. Okay. Uh, let me give you a technique to remember this. TS stands for Telangana state. I repeat, TS stands for Telangana state and MT, Kali, MT and then exo bar. So let us see. Telangana state is empty because it got washed by exo bar. Okay, beta. I am repeating again. TS means Telangana state is empty because it got washed by exo bar. So this is a simple technique. Now we will apply this on the layers of the atmosphere let us see so i'm writing here ts mt xo okay right now let's see so the very first layer is the troposphere right it is the troposphere so t stands for troposphere this is the very first layer now as i said the fundamental here right i said you some fundamental here isn't so now we'll apply this fundamental here now this is an earth surface so i am putting small huts and buildings okay so from the earth surface it have the two different layers say example at the equator its height is at the equator its height is uh, it's about 18 kilometers and when it comes to the polar region its height is just 8 kilometers i said you better ask that here when there is a uh, area receiving the high temperatures the air rises above and when the region receives less temperature the air will be very closer to the earth surface okay so an average of not taking 18 or uh, 8 we will take it as a 13 kilometers the troposphere layer so the troposphere layer is very important to the mankind because but uh, the condensation evaporation precipitation rainfall cyclones and the domestic, uh, uh, these helicopters, these all will fly in this troposphere. Okay, right. So I repeat, condensation, evaporation, precipitation, rainfall and the cyclones occur in this layer. Now, very essentially, we have to remember one thing better here. Now, here, as we are moving high, as we are moving high, as we are moving high, the temperature temperature decreases as we move high the temperature decreases so let us understand this with the uh, practical aspect so why the temperature is decreasing as we are going high so when we question this thing better here we need to understand that here there is nothing here to observe the heat so example here if i put some object here and it is receiving the heat then the surroundings regions will also will experience this warm conditions isn't yes 
so if the heat is going away and there is nothing to receive then we don't experience anything here as usually here the this region is covered with clouds clear and it have the hilly stations which doesn't which doesn't absorbs the heat much as like the surface of the earth surface of the earth will receive the heat and it reflects back but in the space better we have clouds so these clouds will reflect the sunlight to the space the hilly stations these which are covered with the trees plants so clear so they don't absorb much heat and then better here as we go high the temperature decreases in other terms we call as a normal lapse rate this is called as a normal lapse rate okay just you understand the logically and technically better here we have a clouds and there is no something mass and very continuous land mass in the space which can receive the light and which can reflects back okay so this is the condition here then we'll come down to the number 2 the number 2 is what better here we have the stratosphere we have the number 2 is as a stratosphere see s t stands for troposphere s stands for stratosphere now the stratosphere is very important for the mankind so in other words i can tell you that better here the stratosphere is saving the mankind because here so first let us uh, uh, let us see what is its height its height is about 50 kilometers its height is about 50 kilometers then uh, as it is 50 kilometers better we know very well that the shield which is protecting the earth from the harmful uv rays the earth is covered with the ozone that's we call it as o3 right so as we call it as ozone this ozone layer is an on average it is of some 15 to 25 kilometers so let us assume here as just 20 kilometers okay 20 kilometers this is the o3 ozone layer okay right now the stratosphere height is 50 kilometers when it comes to the ozone layer say around it is of some 20 kilometers we are taking roughly okay it is between 25 to uh, 15 to 25 kilometers but for our understanding we are taking some point it's a uh, 20 kilometers now uh, what how it is useful for mankind let us see so whatever the jet flights that flies will happen only in these areas better okay so then after here uh, this layer is completely free from the clouds i repeat this layer is completely free from the clouds and here the jet flights fly and now we'll come down to the heat now in this first troposphere we have discussed that as we go high temperature decreases now in this layer as we go high temperature increases temperature increases so why temperature increases let us understand this so uh, in our textbooks better we don't have this discussion why the temperature increases in this layer so now let us understand this thing here so as the o3 is good observer of heat i repeat o3 is good observer of heat as this o3 ozone is observing the heat so what is the heat here better whatever the uv rays are emitting from the sun is received by this ozone layer and it is converting it into the heat okay so all the ozone molecules we call them as an ozone molecules observe uv rays from the sun and it converts into the heat clear so that way here better here as we go high the altitude increases in this stratosphere the temperature increases okay clear here as we go high temperature decreases here as we go high temperature increases because the reason the uv rays which are emitting from the sun which is received by the o3 this ozone layer and the o, the uv rays are converting into the heat so here as we go high temperature increases okay that's the thing here the next here beta we have the another layer is of mesosphere okay the next layer is beta mesosphere now let us understand how this is useful to us and this mesosphere is extend up to 80 kilometers it extend up to the 80 kilometers then you might be seen the night hours into the sky into the black and tiny stars 
which are glowing you might be seen some stars will burn out right someone done it's a star someone said it is something a good thing by watching them we should make a wish then it will come true that different talks right isn't yeah so these things happens in this mesosphere right t stands for troposphere y stands for stratosphere m stands for mesosphere so but here you might be heard about the meteorites right meteorites so uh, let me write this uh, over here uh, meteorites the pronunciation is meteorites better here someone some may pronounce it as meteorites we, we should pronounce it as a meteorites then these meteorites burn in this layer it's of 80 kilometers next to the stratosphere the mesosphere so now here in this layer there is no much activity what we see in the first and second layer so here uh, we need to understand better here uh, what is the meteorites just i am telling you the definition uh, if possible just you make a rewind and try to note down the definition so the a piece of rock or a metal i repeat a piece of rock or metal that has fallen to the earth surface from the outer space as a meteorite means a metal or a rock which is falling from the space into this layer and it gets burn that is called meteorites so now the next is better here so other side we are seeing that as we go high the temperature decreases temperature decreases because there is nothing to absorb heat here so as we go high temperature decreases guys you have to observe one thing here as we are seeing the first layer we are going high temperature decreases in second level it is increasing in third level it is decreasing vice versa here decreasing increasing decreasing the next will be the automatically increasing isn't so let us see now the following layer after the mesosphere is beta thermosphere thermosphere is a very very important for the man can beta yeah here t stands for the thermosphere how it is important let us see so when 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 we come down to the kilometers it's about some 400 kilometers guys in some books or maybe in some sites they may be representing this is as a 600 kilometers also so kindly do not get confused as per our textbooks it is about 400 kilometers right then here let us see the thermosphere as we go into this the temperature increases let us see how and what now first so it have charged particles naturally charged particles we call them as a ions right we call them as ions right we call them as ions so due to the heat the sunlight the particles which are there in this layer they get charged and uh, how it is important to us is what the question right we were discussing so when the these ions are they get charged when they get charged so whatever the radio waves okay let me explain you here so from the globe say this is the globe so whatever the towers we have the towers so whatever the radio waves we are sending to the space in this sphere means it's a thermosphere clear so thermosphere so this thermosphere it will reflect back this waves to the earth okay it receives and it reflects back this is the activity what the thermosphere is doing so what better here we are able to reason radio today satellite communications gps these are all running because of the thermosphere the thermosphere contains the ions clear the they contains the ions which are charged due to the charged particles better here the radio waves what are going to the space and they are coming back to the earth surface due to this we are receiving the signals i told you as it satellites radios and the gps are completely depend upon the thermosphere right so here it's it is the thermosphere right then so they may ask a one mark a half mark question thermosphere also called as dash then what are what are the things we have seen here beta it is of ions right so then obviously we call it as oh so i'll write here we call it as a ionosphere right we call it as an ionosphere now we are discussing about temperature right so of course you might get you got some idea so as we are going high now what happens temperature 
increases yes because of the ions the temperature increases clear the next matter here we have the last layer as an exosphere so it is about some 1000 kilometers so that it is about some exosphere say they they tell about some 1000 kilometers for now beta there is no information about the thermosphere even the scientists are also trying to know and they are doing lot of uh, uh, you know research on this exosphere to know how this may be useful for the mankind right i hope guys have tried my best to explain you well the structure of the atmosphere for the class 9 students so guys uh, this channel i mean 24 today is only to help the students it is not a commercial channel and i hope uh, you will be understanding these lessons properly and if any doubts you have regarding the lessons so kindly post me in the comment box so that i can explain you the lessons right this is completely channel which is meant for service for the children who are the slow learners and who can listen the lessons with the simple techniques i hope you like it this video and uh, whatever you are experienced by after listening this videos kindly put into the comment box better so that if an improvements i can do for my from my side definitely i'll do for you right signing off rj ravi kumar